Hi guys and welcome to the second Learning Carnival Battle Report. So, we're actually on to Scenario 2 now, which is Fight to Survive, which adds more rules, more models, so on and so forth, from the escapes on Santiano <laughs> box set, using the small rule book. Without further ado, let's go through what we're doing, go through the mission, and get rolling some dice. For Fight to Survive, we are using the full guild set, so a Fisherman Gondolier, Arbalist, Pilferer, and a Gondola. And for the rush hour, we've got a cult enforcer, an efficient, a lesser reel, and a hybrid 2x2 two two board. Um, and basically, every time you kill an enemy character, you score a victory point. Uh, both sides are allowed two agendas each. Should they meet them, they also score a victory point. And for a scenario special rule, each player scores one bonus victory point at the end of the game if the guild killed an enemy with an attack from above or the Rashar kills an enemy with the drown action. We've got five rounds of duration and a four in setup, so let's get set up. And there we are all set up for mission two, fight to survive. So we've got a gondola on a, on a gondola, yeah. A gondola on a gondola. <laughs> a fisherman, an arbalist and a pilferer. Set up on the side. Then opposite there we've got a lesser rill, a cult enforcer, the officiant of Dagon hidden behind a building, and this time we've got a hybrid. So what we need to do now is get our agendas. Guild first agenda, so it is a three. and a two so that is hostile takeover kill an enemy character with the leader keyword with a friendly character with the hero keyword so second one is five and a three so following orders you just two command abilities in a single round and the Rashad first one is a seven followed by a two which is Venetian sniper kill an enemy with a combat action from at least six inches away and then we have a three and a three so which is ideas above your stations kill an enemy character if either the, with either the leader or hero keyword with a friendly character with a henchman keyword okay initiative see what goes first the guild have one command point and get a seven and the rush have one and also get a seven <laughs> stop it roll off again seven for the guild five for the rush so it's the guild to go first Okay, I'm going to start with the Arbalist, and I'm going to activate him and try and get to the top of this building. So we're going to move to the building, which is two inches, and then we need to start climbing. Dex four. <clears throat> oh, wow, look at that. So three successes. So he's got plenty of movement so far, but he's going to need to do it again to keep climbing. So, come on, there we go. Which gives him more than enough to get up to there. Over to the Rashar. So we're going to start with our lesser Rill, who's a water creature, and he's going to start swimming towards the board, but obviously we need to see how far he can get, eh? So we've got a move of three, plus two for being in water, and he's a water creature, um, but see if we can get any more out of it. So if he succeeds, he can move up to his five inches, so, which will put him about there. So let's shift him up for one action, and then he's going to move again. Really just fishing for a critical success here. No. And he's gonna move his five again to there, just to be lurking in the water ready. Gonna activate the gondolier next. Now he can actually uh, pilot a gondola and uh, we're gonna start sailing around. So uh, <laughs> there's a special action called Row, which we have to roll for. So with the deck to four, we're looking for successes, and he has an ability where he can re-roll fails. Obviously, you can never re-roll that dice. So that, at the minute, is a crit failure. <laughs> but I'm going to re-roll those. There we go, trip sevens, look. Allowing him to move five inches, which puts him just the other side of that. So, we will... He can go under the bridge, obviously. <laughs> there we go, so we'll put him like that. So our enforcer is going to move, first of all, so he can roll it, but obviously he still gets to move his move anyway, as far as I understand it. So he's got a movement of four, because all I want to do is move him to there. And then I'm going to jump onto this flotsam and get a chain jump off it, hopefully. Dex of four. Ooh, it's one success. It's not amazing, is it? <laughs> so that would be a three inch jump. It's just enough, I think, just to get on. So he's, on, he's, he's there, he's just on the edge. So he gets a chain jump off. 
Oh, wow, it's a massive, massive roll. So three successes on that jump, which would mean he can jump five. Enough to just put him on the edge there. Pill for an X, she's going to use a bit of movement to go to the edge there, and then she's going to try and jump over the canal. Big deck six. Two, so she's got a four inch move. Which unfortunately splashes her right in the water. So you don't take damage from that, obviously, you just you dropped in the canal. So not, not the best of starts with the pill for her. Our hybrid is going to actually try and jump into the canal, so she's going to do a jump action first. Decks of four. And it's one success, so she gets three inches, which puts her into the canal. And she splashes in. There we go. And um, we're now going to start swimming. So it's minus two normally, but she has um, an aquatic ability. She's a fast swimmer too. So basically she's normal movement. So movement roll. So two successes. And we are going to stay in the water. Like that. There we go. Okay, our fisherman is going to try and jump onto the front of the gondola. Dex of four. Okay, she has two successes, so we've got a four inch jump, which is exactly what she needed. Whew! They are! And from that point, she's going to try and chain jump into the officiant. And it's a success. Allowing her to jump like such into base contact, so at that point, she'll get an attack of opportunity. So she has four dice for attack. I'm going to chuck two will points in to roll six dice total, and I'm looking for fours to hit, which is a deck for the efficient. Oh, look at that. It's only the wild dice that hasn't missed. So it's five successes. And her weapon does plus one damage as well. And nastily, it's penetration three against this. So the, the, uh, the efficient's only rolling one dice at the minute to try and protect against this five damage. Um, so. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh dear. So six dice, six damage would have gone through. His protection rolls are fumble, so it actually goes to seven damage left. From his 13 life, he's got six left in one hit, and she's going to hit him again with the next activation. Fours. There we go, that's four straight hits, so it would be five damage going through with her spear. Um, however, he does get to... Roll to defend, and I think I'm going to have to throw both his will points into this. It's another critical failure. So four damage on the hits, plus one for the spear for five, and another critical failure. It takes him to six damage, and he's dead. Wow. That was some truly horrendous rolling. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, you can't really say much about that, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Do let me know if I've done that right, because that seems like an absolutely brutal I'll move a gondola along to just change and pop it and take their leader off. Um, however, it is now 10-2 and it's time to roll see who goes first. So, we have one dice for the Rashar with a 10 and the Gil get a 5. So the Rashar are going first in 10-2. And it's worth noting last turn, the uh, the officiant actually just, uh, she chain jumped up here and moved and then she's ended up on the end there, so I haven't forgotten about her. So I think we're going to start with our hybrid here and we're going to move as fast as we can towards that child. First X roll. I'm really sort of fishing for critical successes. No, and she's going to need to move twice to get into base contact with her. So I'll do that the next one. And she's passed both of them. Blah, 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 blah. So, it's an attack of opportunity in base contact. She's going to try and drown her. Now, the hybrid has an attack of three and is going to put two of her will into this roll. Uh, so, this is an opposed dice roll. Oh, it's massive! Then, opposed roll for the child. Okay, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's horrific. So, it's not only a success, it's actually a critical success. So the target loses two life points plus one life point for every ace rolled. So I rolled five aces, so that's seven life points straight away. And a critical loses four, so that's nine life. Now the pilferer has nine. That hybrid has just drowned a child in one go. 
absolutely horrible and because there is no that straight life damage there's no way of defending against it that that was that was horrific okay so what do we do eh so i think i'm going to activate the arbalist am i yes and he's going to move first of all so we're going to roll move dad just it's not going to make a massive amount of difference he's succeeded so all he's going to do is just go to the end there and then he's going to take a shot with his crossbow at the officiant Okay, attacker three is putting both of his will points into this. Big roll needed, and it's an absolute failure. <laughs> One success, which was a seven. The fishing's protection roll. She laughs at him. Absolutely laughs at him. No damage at all. Wow. We're going to activate the reel, and he's going to try and get into contact with the uh, the fisherman and exact some vengeance. Now the reel is in water. And has a dex of four, so I'll roll a dice anyway, just see if we get a bit of extra movement, but no. But it does mean that he can actually move five inches, which is more than enough to put him there. And get a target of opportunity, an attack of opportunity on it. Okay, so because he's a fiery sort of monster from the depths of hell, um, we have to do a fear check. So the fisherman needs to use her mind value of three. Oh, she's absolutely bossed it. Look, th three successes. If she failed, it would have meant the reel could have re-rolled against her. So now it's time for the reel to attack. It's an attack value of four. He's going to throw both his will points into this. Lean force to hit. So we missed with two, um, but we did get one, two, three successes. However, our fisherman is pretty cheeky at defense. So let's have a look. So she's succeeded twice in a defense roll, so it does take one point of damage. However, our reel gets a second action. So this time she's, he's going to try and grapple her and throw her into the, uh, the canal. Attack roll of four. Two successes, not too bad, but it is opposed. Opposed roll from the fisherman. Only one success, so that the reel actually does uh, succeed there with the grapple. So he gets to move her two inches plus one inch for every age roll, so four inches total. And I am going to throw her into the middle of the canal there. Splosh. Okay, over to the guild. The gondola is going to activate, and he's going to first start by rowing the gondola a bit further forward to see if he can't go and rescue the fisherman. Okay, row action. Ooh, he gets to re-roll that black dice because of his uh, gondola ability. So three successes, so he gets to move five inches total. Which do 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 do. Let's see if we can put it on. Ooh, puts him there, and he's now going to attempt to jump onto this flotsam here. Um, actually, he can jump onto the front of the gondola, can't he? He's going to jump onto the front of the gondola and try and chain jump off it. Dex of four. Oh, <laughs> oh it's one success. It's fine. He's got three. So that allows him to jump there. Boop. And now he's going to chain jump off and hopefully start hitting there with his oar. Come on, fella. Better roll me this time. It's two successes, so four inches of jump move. Which is enough to actually put him there. And then he gets a target of opportunity, so he's just going to hit her. He's got a blade on the end of his oar, so he's going to try and take her head off with it. He's got an attack value of three. He's putting both of his will points into this roll. And we need, I believe, fours to hit. Let's just have a look at the decks. It's fours. Come on. So, that was an eight, wasn't it? It's still a hit anyway. So one, two, three, four, five hits total. Absolutely what we wanted. So five hits total. So five damage. Plus one damage if we've been an oar. To six. However, we do get five dice back because we've got a minus on the penetration. Oh. <laughs> wow, failure. So just like that, he clubs around the head with his oar and actually takes it down to half life. She took six off her in one swing. Very cool. Okay, so our fishing is left to activate. What she's going to do is uh, she's going to try and grapple the gondolier and uh, get him wet. Not putting our will into this yet, we need sevens. There we go, so two successes, uh, but it is, um, it is opposed. So th three back, oh no, so two successes with two aces rolled, means that she can throw in four inches, I believe. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, two inches plus one for every ace, so four inches. Which is enough to throw him clear over there and put him there, lining him up for next turn, eh? So the hybrid can come and drown him. So she does have another activation left, what's she gonna do? Now I think she should try and hop onto this and then hop onto her. So let's do some jumping. Dex of four for the jump roll. <laughs> she's absolutely smashed it. Whoop. And then she's gonna jump onto her. Dex of four again. 
Ooh, that's actually a critical failure. <laughs> Brilliant. So obviously trying to look really badass and like sort of jumping off there, she, she just moves in some good splosh. <laughs> Not the best ending to that in the world. So we have our fisherman left now. What's she gonna do? So she's not the best in water, and uh, the issue that she's got, I don't believe her weapon. Oh, sorry, her weapon can be used in water. So, and it's within two. So does she just hit the efficient with the pole arm first? Yes, let's do that. Attack value of four. So we've got two successes. However, it is opposed. So we have, let's have a quick look. The efficient has protection of four. So two successes so far, let's have a look. And two successes, so there's nothing there, nothing at the minute. I think for her next activation, she's just going to move into this gondola and sort of uh, get herself out of the water just in case the uh, Rashar get the uh, get the jump, so to speak. Okay, and the turn two, so the Rashar are still in the lead because they actually killed an enemy, which is a victory point, but it was with the drown action, so that's another victory point for them. So it's two to one at the minute. So let's see if we uh, can uh, balance out a bit. So we have. Oh, guild. Oh, big eight. Rashar is a six of the guild are going first in turn three. I'm starting with the big arbalist. He's going to take a shot with his crossbow at the uh, at the efficient down there. Attack of three, and it's a total. Oh no, no, sorry, we're hitting on dexterity value, aren't we? So. Let's have a quick look, dexterity of four, so he hits three times, so potentially three damage. However, we do get defense for the efficient, and her protection is four, and she needs to pass three of them. Uh, she passes one, so it's three damage straight through, leaving her on three health. And with that, he's had his two shots, so he now needs to reload, which is what he's going to use his last action point to do. Okay, I think it's time to use the efficient before she's dead. Um, so what she's going to try and do is jump onto that gondola. Big deck four, and it's one success. So yeah, at least we've managed to succeed to do it. So it's three inches of jump, which I believe is enough to put her in base contact with the fisherman and get an attack of opportunity, which she's going to attempt to just hit her first. Attack her three needing fours. Let's have a look. So two hits, which is fine. And the defense of the fisherman a protection value of five so she's pretty handy isn't she the fisherman and she protects both of them so what the efficient is going to do now is now try and grapple her and she's going to put two of her will points into this roll and roll five dice okay so it's not amazing however it is opposed the grapple so we've got two successes against nothing so two successes with the grapple, let's her throw her four inches. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to throw her four inches there. Now my thought there is, that means that if the guild, if this was a game against other people, so on and so forth, you now have got a thought, haven't you? Because you can either activate her first before that reel gets her, or the gondolier at the other side before the hybrid gets her. Okay, the hybrid's going to go next. So, what she's going to do, it seems that that's quite a good position to go and attack that gondolier, isn't it? So let's uh, let's get swimming. Dex of four first. So I succeeded. She needs two movements. I was just seeing there if I could fish for a critical success and get there in one. Um, however, she has enough movement to go into the hybrid and attack, and the attack of opportunity is going to be drowned. Uh, attack of three, and she's going to throw a last will point into it for four dice. Not too bad again. So we have two so far. Gondolier, attack three back. Oh. <laughs> He's perfectly fine. Okay, that slightly changes things. So she is now going to get out of the water. She's got plenty of moves to do with that, so I'm just going to move her and get an attack of opportunity. Four dice with expert, offense one. And what do I actually need? Fours? No, it's dexterity three, I believe. Let's have a look. No, it's dexterity four, so we're going to reroll one of those. There we go, that's good. So three hits so far. Plus one damage from the weapon makes it four damage and he gets a defense of three. And he's done none of them. So he takes a straight four damage, taking him down to seven left. Second activation, she's gonna just attack him again because the weapon's actually quite good, isn't it? So we're gonna attack again. We're gonna throw a will point into this attack as well. 
final little point. Five dice. We're looking for fours. That's actually pretty good. I can't re-roll the wild dice, unfortunately. So, so far we've got four, five damage with the spear. And the real gets to try and defend itself, doesn't it? So, defense of three. Protection of three. It stops two. So it's three damage three. Leaving him on four. So, and it's the real to go next, isn't it? Now, I think the real is just going to wail on her and try and attack her a couple of times. Mind check for the fisherman. But she passes, thankfully. And then the real gets to do his work, doesn't he? So, four attacks. It's not amazing. Oh, actually, no, we're hitting on deck, so that's uh, that's four hits. <laughs> So, four damage so far, but protection five. Whoa, not in the tray, Tom. Save two of them, so three go through. And the real is going to do exactly the same thing again. So, three damage so far. There's three more, potentially. Protection roll. So, for another two, five damage in total, taking it down to six left. We now have our gondolier. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, this weapon isn't aquatic. So, what he's going to try and do is escape from combat. Dex roll for disengage, and he's got two successes, which is more than enough, I believe. So it's a success, the character moves away as normal. So he can move a total of, I believe, three, because he's got fast swim or one. So what we're going to do, we're going to move all just out here. Are we going to do that? No, we're, gonna, we're just going to get on that flotsam. No, we can't. Mm. He's going to move there. For his second activation, he's now going to, hmm, what do we do? He's going to jump onto the back of the gondola. This is my gondola. <laughs> so, plenty of uh, roll there, it's a success. Allowing him to do that and take a target, a swipe of opportunity at the officiant. Okay, he has an attack of three and he's going to put both his will points into it and roll a big five dice. Looking for four. Oh, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Let's just jump and check, does he have there? Uh... So he doesn't have any actual abilities on his weapon, but three hits isn't too bad. Minus one dice for protection of the, uh, the efficient. And I didn't roll in here, I didn't roll a wild dice. So let me two seconds, there we go. So he succeeded once. Um, so it would be four damage, down to three. Oh, she's looking ropey. In fact, that has just killed her. This is my gondola, smack. <laughs> there we go. What a gondolier. And he's just tied the game up. So, interesting, 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 eh? So, at the end of turn three, it's a tied game. Going to turn four, let's see who's going first. So, Rashar. Oh, no, a one. And the guild. A one as well. <gasps> Rashar. Two. Guild. Three. So, the guild are going first in turn four. I think it's going to have to be the reel that goes first. What he's going to try and do, he's going to try and grapple with the fisherman. Oppose rolls. So it's one success. However, the fisherman did need a fear check first, which is a pass anyway. So it's one success on the grapple. It's opposed, so we need uh, definitely need more than that. Oh yeah, one, just. So it's a draw, so nothing happens. He's going to try it again. So, it's only one against, yeah, that fisherman's not going anywhere. They just continue to fight each other on the bank. Our reloaded arbalist is going to have a pop at the hybrid down there. Big attack three. It's three hits, not too bad. Um, however, we do get protection again, don't we? So, the hybrid's protection is three. And it's nothing, so three damage straight through to the hybrid. It's the first damage she's taken all game, she's got eight left. Now I think, because, because he's feeling a bit triple hard, he's going to jump off this building and try and attack that rill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can't not parkour in this game. So, what are we going to do? Jump onto the lip and then jump off. Gives us a chain jump and it's a five. Yeah, let's do that. So, he's uh, jump onto the lip first of all. Oh, it's massive. Okay, so he can move five straight away anyway.
which is enough for the uh, the hero that he is to do this. Pah. He gets an attack of opportunity on there, and it's minus five penetration on this because of the distance. It's an attack from above, um, so let's uh, let's have a go. No, it's oh. it's three hits. However, it's all minus five, so there's no protection to that whatsoever. That's three straight damage to the reel. He's got one life left. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, eh? never mind. However, we are potentially going to take some falling damage there. From a height of five inches, so you potentially could take five life points of damage. Okay, get troll. So for every success, I get to not take a point of damage, but that's a critical success. Reduce the life points lost by two, so you go to three plus one free chase, two, one. He takes one point of damage from that fall. That's not bad at all, eh? over to our hybrid who's going to try and oh what's she going to do she's going to try and get on this gondola so i think we're going to do that it's by moving on to this then jumping off it so moving on to that's going to be relative straight no she can't do that sorry can she so she's going to move here and then jump off the edge Dex of four <laughs> it's a massive fail oh wow Splosh. <laughs> and that's our activation over, unfortunately. So we have the gondolier and the fisherman. So the fisherman is going to try and deal with this reel over here, I think. So he's only got one hit point left. So our fisherman has... Yeah, she's just, just going to attack him. Four dice hit on four. So. Yeah. So two. Plus one damage for the being a fishing pole. So three damage in total against his defence. And she has expert offense, which is also a hit, so that's four damage total against his defense. And his protection value is three. Oh, we need to crit success this. No, she's just killed the real. Killed the real. I'm liking these guild, they're pretty good at this. this is, uh, there we go, that one's dead. We shifted him, haven't we? So she actually has another action left. Um, hmm. I think because she's showing the guys how it's done. She's, ooh, what is she going to try and do? Can't jump onto the gondola because there's a guy in the way. So, we're going to jump up here onto this bridge. Now, what are we doing? Yeah, we are. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's jump up there onto the bridge. Why not? Let's just see what happens. So, gets her ready for next turn, doesn't it? And she's got acres of space to do that. So, she's just going to jump up to there and... Uh, Keep a weather eye on the horizon. <laughs> now the reel's dead, it's actually the gondola, yeah? Um, so, I think, hmm, he's not very good in water, is he? So I think we're just gonna row out of the way and let these two deal with that hybrid. Dex of four, are we rolling anything that doesn't succeed? So, three, so we can move it five inches. Which is enough to put him over there, discretion is a better part of Valerie. Eh? And for his second activation, he's going to do exactly the same thing. So let's uh, have a roll. And he can move it three inches. Oh, he can re-roll as well, though, can't he? So never re-roll a white dice. Oh. <laughs> he can move it three. So what he's going to do? He's just um, he's obviously got some business down there, so he's just going to disappear now, basically. End of turn four. Now, quite interestingly, that's actually the guild elite now. So they've killed three enemy models for three VPs, and the uh, the Rishan drowned one for two VPs. So, last turn. Let's see who goes first. Guild is an eight. Rishan is a six. So it's the guild first in turn five. So first things first, I think the Arbalist is going to take a crossbow shot at her while she's, uh, while she's floating in the water, so he can't do some damage. Um, he's not got any will to throw into it, so it's just a straight three dice attack. Oh, it's pretty good though. So two successes so far, so it will be two damage. However, she does get to try and defend herself, doesn't she, in the water. Protection of three, I believe. She has one, so it's one damage through. Takes it down to seven, and what he's going to do now is move back from the water's edge. <laughs> so it's now the hybrid's go, 
And what she's going to do is she's going to get swimming and try and actually get into these. So, well, let's do some rolling, shall we? Because I think if we get some critical successes, we can actually get into combat. So, we've got four dice first of all for her movement. That's not bad at all, is it? That is actually a critical success. Giving her six inches of movement. So, yes, it's there. She's going to need to do it again, though. She's going to need to do that again. Not a critical, so she's got four inches to move with. And I think that'll just put her there on the edge. So, now it's the guild. What are we going to do? We've got the gondolier and the fisherman. I think it's got to be the fisherman first, hasn't it? She's going to jump onto the lip of the bridge and then chain jump over into her. Big dex roll. Uh, it's one success. Hmm. Th oh, sorry, that's just onto the lip. So she's onto the lip and then she gets a chain jump, doesn't she? Uh, which is fine, so four inches total. She goes flying through the air, spear in hand. Pop. Attack of opportunity time. Okay, big attack four. She's throwing her last and remaining will point into this. Whoa. Okay, we've got expert offense as well, haven't we? So that is actually five straight hits, six damage potentially in total. Ten rolls. Takes five on the chin. Same again with the second attack. It's potentially. Ooh. Reroll on. Protection roll. And that's enough. That's enough to kill the hybrid. Fishing hook to the face. She's dead. So with that, obviously, the Rashara wiped out. And the guild win. Yeah, very interesting. I'm really liking this game. It's pretty cool, isn't it? There we go. I hope you enjoyed that kind of veil scenario. I'm still learning the game. Uh, so if I've made any mistakes, guys, please let me know. Um, that's what it's all about. I love the game so much I've actually ordered the full size starter set so I'll be unboxing that and building up on my guild. I really like the guild. <laughs> I just think they're cool. Jumping off buildings and assassinating people and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching. As always, do subscribe for more. Stay safe, stay well and as always, happy hobbying.